And there are a lot of people involved in this study, which I have to thank uh, through these images. But I want to finish with a story. I'm sorry I'm going over my time. Uh, when I was in high school, this was 1993, okay? I was in grade 10. The movie Jurassic Park came out. Has anybody seen Jurassic Park? Yeah? So Jurassic Park has a few main characters. The most, uh, the, the best ones for me at that time were Dr. Alan Grant and, uh, and the paleobotanist uh, Sattler, somebody Sattler, okay? Because they were studying dinosaurs and, and ancient plants, all right? In the natural world, and I loved nature, I wanted to be a biologist, okay? So I really loved them. There was another character. He's called Dr. Ian Malcolm. He's a mathematician, actually a chaotician, all right? He studied nonlinear dynamics. And he predicted Jurassic Park would fail and have many problems and dinosaurs would eat people. And he was right. But when I watched that movie, I wanted to be Dr. Alan Grant. When I think back to it now, I'm kind of Dr. Alan Grant because I go to the field and I study animals, but I'm just as much Dr. Ian Malcolm. So I think for all of you when, you, when you think about what you can do, don't narrow your idea down to one field so much. You have so much opportunity, and places like Kyoto University have so much opportunity to mix disciplines and to cross boundaries. And you can discover many more new things that way. So I've been to, for research, I've been to all of these different places. All right, and I've had a, a amazing times doing that and learning so much about the natural world. Uh, and so I like to think you know, that this is my playground. I came from this place here. It's, it's a city in the middle of Canada. Uh, and, and most amazingly for me, ended up on Antarctica. But I think this is possible for everybody. So I want to close by saying this is my playground. Uh, what's yours? <laughs>